an aspiring beauty queen who says her hopes of being Miss Nottingham are unrealistic. And not because she's not beautiful enough, but because of the colour of her skin. 23-year-old Rebecca Walters from Daybrook has entered the contest for the past three consecutive years and despite coming third this time round, says that black and aged women don't seem to stand a chance of winning. Rebecca is here to tell you more. Welcome to BBC Radio Nottingham. Thank you, thanks. Do you really think the reason that you didn't win Miss Nottingham is because of the colour, the, the colour of your skin? I'd hate to say it, but in a way, yes, because I think even though pageants are getting more popular now, they still have that stereotypical beauty queen look, blonde hair, blue eyes, even brunette, stunning. I mean, all the girls that entered the year, this year were absolutely gorgeous, but, you know, it was just something about it that's still not changed, unfortunately. Despite feeling this way, you've been back three times in a row. It can't have been that bad an experience then, can it? Definitely not. No, I'd never not pageants at all because it's a nice way to meet people especially as in Nottingham you can't know everybody so it's nice to all come together get dressed up dolled up glamorous just enjoy the night as a whole thing so it's fantastic meeting new people and there's also opportunities that you could potentially get spotted too and yet you've said that you entered and were given false hope in being allowed to enter because black and Asian women don't win that's right yes I think the last um black girl that won was 20 years ago and she was from Nottingham as well so I've just thought hopefully maybe that be again that could happen or even at Asia and I mean a couple of years ago uh, Tiffany Tyler who's um, Chinese won so that still gave me the hope to think actually I could actually get far in this not maybe first I mean everyone would love to win but you know there's always that hope that you think maybe it could be me maybe it could change but unfortunately it didn't. Well, you did come third in the contest this year. You yeah. Miss Nottingham 2012, third runner-up. Yes. Yeah. W- was that a good feeling? It was amazing. I couldn't believe it. I was, didn't think I would even get that far. So even getting to final eight and then the three is, to me, is an achievement in itself. So I can't complain and can't knock the position that I finally came in. But you would have liked to come first by the sounds of it. Oh, definitely. <laughs> I didn't even get a tiara and I would have loved that. <laughs> So you came third, and, and what does that mean? What do you get if you come third in this contest? Oh, um, all I got was flowers and um, just a picture of the Evening Post. Um, no third sash, third place sash or anything like that. It was just third place title, basically. Were you left with a bit of a bad taste in your mouth? I'd say so, yes. Cause I, I suppose in a way, if I was running a competition, even if it was third place, I'd say thank you, here's some vouchers for boots or something just something little to say thank you you've you've actually got far out of however many you've entered originally in the first place I believe every year the Miss Nottingham pageant gets more and more popular there's about 200 girls that enter so to get to the 22nd people or the 8th and 3rd is in a you know you want some sort of recognition from it what is it about beauty pageants these beauty contests that makes you want to enter and enter again the glamour side of it I suppose and more than anything for myself personally it's more the moment of them choosing you and thinking wow I am actually stand out in a way even if it's you know you've got lovely lashes or beautiful lips just something that moment that's more than anything means more to me than I suppose a tiara or the makeup pageants that you win and anything like that just even the flowers I just think that moment in itself is worth a million dollars. Do you think you'll enter Miss Nottingham again next year? I doubt it because I think I'd be classed as old now. You're 23? <laughs> yeah. But in the beauty pageant world, that's getting on a bit as well. I suppose in any industry like football, as you get old at some point, beauty pageants, you do get old. So by the age of 24, you have to retire from beauty pageants? Unfortunately, yes. <laughs> oh dear. Um, so has it put you off? The fact that you say that your skin colour means that it's l- less than likely for you to win Miss Nottingham, does it put you off pageants as a whole? Certainly not. Um, and I don't want it to put off anybody else. Definitely not. I mean, getting third place should in itself be you know, inspiring, or I hope it is, until girls that are 16 plus when you can enter, I think you should still go for it. You know, you never know. There's always, there may be that opportunity that you could break into it. And that opens so many doors. And I just love to be in that position where girls think, yeah, actually, I'll go for it. Because I would never, I would definitely would, I would go for another pageant again. It wouldn't put me off. I just hope that someone out there would think, actually, yeah, let's break the mold, the stereotypes. I'm not, I'm, a, I'm not at all 
long luscious bleggy blonde or anything i'm just five foot four from nottingham and i'm myself some people listening might say this just sounds like sour grapes you didn't win and therefore you're blaming the color of your skin what would you say to them Oh, definitely not. I mean, there was, there's three different views to this. There's if you're in the pageant yourself, also if you're in the crowd, and also if you're watching on TV. Now, on TV, a lot of things are edited. At the pageant yourself, you have all of these emotions, excitement, sadness, even not getting far, but achievement in itself. And also, if you're in a crowd watching it, you know, um, a, a few people that came up to me who I didn't know who met on that day noticed that people from other regions who came to watch the second and third places were actually mixed race, Asian, and it was. It, I personally thought it stuck out quite a lot, but obviously you couldn't say anything. Well, Rebecca, what does the future hold for you? More beauty pageants where they let you carry on beyond the age of 24? I hope so, if I can, if I'm old enough to. And I think maybe in the future I'd like to start my own pageant to give other girls the opportunity. That's definitely something I'd, I've would i started to think about. I'd like to give that girl that moment and the tiara and the flowers and say, well done, you know, represent your city that you love. Kate Solomon is the woman responsible for organising the Miss Nottingham contest and an ex-beauty queen herself. Welcome to BBC Radio Nottingham, Kate. Hello, afternoon. So you heard from Rebecca there. Are you less likely to be Miss Nottingham if you're not white? (laughs) No, absolutely not. It's really sad, really, to hear what Rebecca said. I mean, um... Rebecca's an absolutely lovely girl. She's been in the competition for the last three years and we think she's fantastic. She's, she, we've seen her progress over the few years. She's got more confident. She's obviously gained experience and her perseverance has paid off. You know, to come third in the competition is amazing. Um, but no, it has absolutely nothing to do with the colour of your skin. Definitely not. And yet she says that in the past three years that she has been involved, she hasn't seen a black or Asian Miss Nottingham in that time. Is that fair to say? We haven't had a winner in the last few years. I mean, we ourselves, um, Models Ed Promotions, we organise the heats around the Midlands. So we also organise Miss Leicester, Miss Birmingham, Miss Derby. Um, Miss Birmingham, for instance, this year our winner was an Asian girl and second and third were both black and mixed race girls. So there actually wasn't a white girl in the top three of that competition. And, you know, Birmingham's a very multicultural city. So we had more mixed... um, ethnicities entering that competition and yeah it literally comes down to who is entering at the time um our miss lester competition it was fantastic having such a diverse group of girls enter because it's such a multicultural city so if anything i can only take the positive from what rebecca said and hope the message goes out that we actually haven't had many girls in nottingham you know black girls asian girls various diverse um cultures entering the competition itself so if they're not entering then obviously there will be a natural pattern that, that you know, they're not going to win. But there's certainly no pattern or rule or anything like that at all. No, definitely not. Beauty is such a subjective thing, though, isn't it? it it's so subjective. It's in the eye of the beholder. What do you, your judges look for when they're, when they're looking for a winner? We're looking for a whole package. I mean, we work so closely with our girls. We help them prepare for the competition. And the day itself, in the afternoon, once they finish rehearsing, we invite the judges to come an hour before the show. Um, and the judges actually get to sit down and meet all of the girls face-to-face and chat with them before they go on stage because we don't want them to judge just on beauty and what they look like. Um, so they are looking for confidence, personality, stage presence, charisma, even you know deportment the way that the girls hold them down on hold themselves on stage mm. um and of course it is a beauty pageant so beauty does come into it but um the, you know it's, it's quite sad from what i've heard rebecca say i'm sad that she does feel like that you know miss england itself we um rachel christie um a black girl from london won miss england in 2009 and a few years ago we had um hamasa who was an asian girl that actually won miss england and if you go onto the miss england website itself and just look at the finalists for this year's competition it is completely diverse so you know the competition more than welcomes and we are you know we are looking for those attributes confidence personality looks all of those things irrelevant of your culture or your skin color and uh, any of the judges involved black or asian in this year's competition? Yeah. Uh, no, they weren't. This in not Miss Nottingham. We had um, Catherine Taylor from the Nottingham Evening Post. We had the previous Miss Nottingham, who was Emma. Um, and we had Stephen Kay, who was from 
the Nottingham uh, hairdressing at the college. So no, they weren't. But, you know, that's not, we don't specifically look for those things. I think sometimes people, when they speak about race or, you know, like you actually sort of asked Rebecca, is it sort of sour grapes and are you, you know, mentioning your race colour to, to cover that fact up? You know, it's not something that we even think about when we're, we're in auditioning the girls at mm. all. 